Hey, hey, my crafty peeps. I am here today to do a really cool unboxing. So if you don't know shimmering canvases, you're missing out. Dawn is awesome. She has probably my favorite selection of square crystal uh, drills. She has probably the largest variety of anybody that I know uh, as far as colors. So uh, this is actually a list that I found on her website and I printed out. It's a checklist for the crystals. So what I did was I got a really good discount. I don't know if this set is still on her site because I got it right before Christmas, but I could not pass it up. It is 104 different crystals. Some of them are ABs, some of them are glow in the dark. There's just a great variety, 104 different crystals. And she had a 50% off coupon for people that had spent over a certain dollar amount with her in the past year. I do have a discount code for her down below in the description. So if you would like to order something, obviously you're not gonna get my 50% off, but there is a code down there that you can use on her website and get a discount. So anyways, without further ado, I believe the set was like 225 and it cost me, I don't know what, $112, $110, something like that. So it was a really good deal. You guys know that I bling stuff out. This is actually the box it came in. I cut this open, but I have not looked inside yet. So let us see, oh wow, wowzers. All right, so these are all of the different envelopes that they're in, like the different, um, I'll show you. So like here is, DMC 208, which is lavender, very dark, and you can see the crystals in there. Obviously, the silver is just the back side of them, but you can see that purple. And then, you know, some of them are just in different packages. That's all. It's not a big deal. Like, this is in a blue package. So, that is the Sea Green Light 964. Um, here's a pink one. Let's see what's in here. We've got DMC 917. That's really pretty. And I'll take some of these out and show you what they look like. Oh, cool. These say activate in sunlight. So these must be some of the uh, glow in the dark. Glow in the dark crystal. There you go, I just answered my question. <laughs> so these are some tangerine ones. Those are cool. What else, what else? What have we not looked at yet? Here's a black envelope. There's some mauve medium. So basically what I'm gonna do is I went and printed out this square crystal checklist. Now I did notice that down here on the bottom, OOS is out of stock and LE is limited edition. And so this um, fuchsia right here has both next to it. And then there are four of them, looks like up here that say limited edition out of stock. So um, there are definitely more than 104 on this list. I'll just go through and I'll check off which ones I have. Now I do already have a bunch of sets from her. Hang on and let me get this box and I'll show you how I store them. So this is just a little box that I got. I can't remember where I got it. If I got it at, I don't know, Hobby Lobby, Joann's something like that, and I put my crystals in it. And I just put these little plastic divider things um, that I got off of Amazon in there, and then I just sort of, I didn't put them in number order because that's not really how I work. Um, I look at different colors, so I put, you know, the greens together, the purples together, and so on and so forth. So like here is an AB, which is called Pink Flame, and you can see that's really pretty. Um, these are also all drills that I got from her in a set. So, and you can see that they're in, you know, different colored envelopes here too. So there's DMC 603 Cranberry. There's just a whole bunch of different ones um, that she's got. So I'll be curious to see like what I already have versus um, the new ones in the set that I got. But I think that it says on her website there are about 2,000 crystals in each um, 
packet and I believe they're four dollars a piece so if you use my coupon then you get 10% off of that so you you'll get a bit of a discount but she does have if she doesn't have the big set like I got she definitely has other sets I mean you can even get sets that are just like you know if you love the ABs you could get a set with just some AB so you could get 10 or you could get 20 different colors I mean you don't have to get something quite as extensive as this but I just I love the crystals I think they're great like I said there's a difference between the square and the round let me get some round ones and I'll show you all right so these are just round crystals they're they're just in containers because I had dumped them out so you've got a 606 and what is this one? 3716. So I've got them numbered, but these are round ones. So what I'm gonna do is I will take some of this right here. And I've got them in my beautiful Muni Made tray. I'll show you. These are the round ones. Really pretty. Um, they do, you know, they they're faceted a bit. But, as you know, the squares are going to have a lot more. Let's see. So, let's try this Cranberry 603. Um, and usually, I will cut this little part, this little hangy part off of my crystals because it just kind of gets in the way. But, these packets are awesome. Never had any issues. And it's easier to pour out if you just cut that little thing off of there. So let's pour these down in here. And I can show you how beautiful these square crystals are. Look at that. Look how sparkly. Sparkly and shiny. Let's see if I can get this zoomed in. There we go. There we go. Look how beautiful. Those are so pretty and they lay really nice, really nice. You can kind of see the difference between the square and the round. You just got, they're both really sparkly, but you just got a lot more shine with the squares. So they're different colors, but that gives you a good idea. So you can see that her drills lay nicely in the tray too, because I know sometimes with squares, that's an issue for people. So anyways, what I'll do is I'll go through these and I'll look at my checklist and I'll check which ones I got off of there and then we'll see if I'm missing something or what's happening because I always like to check. P.S. I was dumping these back in here and I just thought I'd let you know I've never had a staticky uh, pack of drills from her either with these uh, squares. So yeah, never, never been staticky, never been an issue. So you can see I have things just laid out in piles by color. The only thing is it looks like there was a little, it's almost like Mardi Gras up in here. Um, it's not a big deal. It's not going to take me long because it's not a ton of colors, but this um, olive green has a hole in the bottom and then right there, there's a hole in the violet. The other thing that's weird is I could tell this was a purple color, like a light purple. I mean, a pearl color. It's the light purple. And I checked the bag and there's not a hole or anything in it, but there are some of these um, down in here too. So easy enough. I'll put them in new bags. Um, that's never happened before and I've ordered a lot from her. So not a big deal. Not a big deal. So easy enough. One of the colors was that uh, 732 olive green that was um, in the box. And I just put it in a different little baggie. And I was able to take the sticker that was on that uh, pouch and put it on this one. So easy enough. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know. I have these everywhere. So I'm not sure where it was. Anyways, I did do my inventory. Really cool because I actually ended up with... 
106 colors instead of 104 colors, which is what was supposed to be included in the kit. I got all nine glow colors except for this um, DMC 701. And I, I don't, I tried to go back and look at my order and I guess maybe she's out of this particular set. So I can't see if that was supposed to be in there or not, but honestly, it's not a big deal to me. I'm not a huge glow in the dark fan. So I got all of the pearl colors which I really like. And I got all of the AB colors with the exception of this fuchsia, but it says not AB. So I'm not real worried about that either. I got obviously plenty of AB colors. Love those. And then I got, um, let's see, let's see. Let me look at my notes. 70 of the regular DMC colors. So you can see on here what I did was I checked off everything. I didn't get the ones that said uh, limited edition out of stock and there were only four of those. So that's not a big deal. Um, this was actually listed twice. It's the same thing and I did get that. So I marked that off. The only two that I saw that I didn't get were the 958 Sea Green Dark and what was the other one? I thought there was one other one. Oh, I guess that's the other, the only one that was like a regular color that I didn't see in there. So I got all the other regular colors. So in summary, before wrapping up, here is my list. I did have, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. One, uh, no, 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 no. Two of, the limited edition out of stock. And this one that said not AB actually is an AB. So I do have a fuchsia AB. And then I think there was, I don't know, I know the sea green one I didn't get, but I ended up getting one of those. So there were a couple of colors that I didn't have before. What I did was I had to um, get another box for these. So I have these in here. And those are the red, yellow, pink, and purple. And then I have the rest of them in here, the oranges and greens and all that good stuff. So thank you very much, Dawn. I am really excited. I'm very happy with my big old stash of crystals here. Um, I will definitely be using those on a lot of different projects. So if you haven't checked out Shimmering Canvases, like I said, Dawn is a great lady. Um, if you have square crystals and you want a checklist, or if you have square ABs, round ABs, she has these for free on her site. So you can actually go to Shimmering Canvases and you can print this off. So if you do order some drills, you'll know which ones you have, which ones you don't. Hey guys, so as you saw just a few minutes ago, I opened up that incredible box of crystals, the square crystals from Shimmering Canvases. This is a different day, but Dawn has graciously sent me one of her new diamond paintings. So I don't know if you know or not, but Dawn is awesome. She is with Shimmering Canvases, that's her business. She is selling, like she's been selling these really great pens that she turns and she turns blanks too, like she has blanks you can pick. Um, and then obviously all the drills, but she has diamond paintings now. So, uh, I did tell you, I think before that I have a 10% off code down in the description. Basically, if you use the word bling, B-L-I-N-G, you get 10% off of your order, but that doesn't count for diamond paintings or for pens because I know the diamond paintings, um, are a new venture for her. Um, I did want to mention too that I saw on her website, I was just kind of looking around. She has 31 new rhinestone colors, the, the round rhinestones. And then she also has 31 new rhinestone colors that are round, but they're for the square diamond painting. So, you know, round and square sizes, the, the round drills are a little bit bigger and the square ones are a little bit smaller. So she has some beautiful rhinestones that fit in either round or square. And the colors are amazing. There's one you, you guys know I love um, 907 and 703, and she had a color in there called Parakeet. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's like this gorgeous green. So anyways, um, I wanted to let you know she has 
the Jasmine Beckett Griffith paintings that are brand new, that are licensed. And then I looked on the site and I saw, I think, two kind of smaller butterfly paintings and then kind of a mandala looking one that I think is all crystal. So um, I don't know exactly what's going to be in here. I do know that she has the, the diamond paintings um, for, I think... $59.99, somewhere in that ballpark um, for the paintings with just a standard toolkit. And then I don't know what's coming in this one. I think I know what picture it is because she kind of asked me if there was one that I was looking at. Uh, but I don't know if this is a regular kit or upgrade. So anyways, without further ado, let's open this up. I want to move it over here because I don't want you to see my address. And I don't know. I think it's on a couple of sides. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, and, well, my address is on there. I wanted to show you. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I guess I got the upgraded package. That answered my question. Um, let me cover up my address so I can show you this. So it's cool because her box actually is branded and it says shimmering canvases and has the diamond on there. So that's pretty cool. It's a, a sturdy little box. Um, so yeah, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know which painting this is. Let's, let's look in this little bag first since it looks like the regular drills are in with uh, the canvas. We've got this and my gosh. Okay, she, wow. She is not messing around when it comes to the extra drills. That's amazing. Wow, okay. Let's see if there's any sort of note or if this is just... So as you can see, things are quite different. I had two different times where my camera was not working. Um, so here we are again. You can see I've got everything laid out. Basically, I looked at pricing just to make sure because this is the upgraded kit. So this particular kit is called Reaching for Sunset. And the regular non-upgraded kit, which basically means you don't get all of the crystals and ABs and glow-in-the-dark drills, um, it just has the regular drills in it, is $59.99. And then if you get the upgraded version, it's $89.99. But in the upgraded version, everything's already charted for you, so I'll show you all that. But you get a square glow-in-the-dark crystal, you get 11 ABs, you get six of the square crystals, and then you get one square crystal AB. So we'll, I'll show you all these. I'll show you where everything goes. I figured what I would do is take this canvas out and lay it down so you can see the whole thing first. We'll go over the canvas um, and I'll show you the drill field and then we'll get into all this good stuff. So I'll show you everything that's in here. You always know it's me when you see the zebra and hot pink carpet. <laughs> She's so long that I figured I would put her down here just to kind of pan over and show you everything. And I'll, you know, show it to you close up as well. You can see the sunset. You can see how it's glowing on her hair. And then she's got all the little fish over here, her cute tail. I think it's really a great painting. It's poured glue and the plastic looks great. I mean, it was in great shape when she packaged it up and sent it to me. I mean, you could see the plastic that it was in, but I think she looks really good. I will go down and uh, pan over her so you can kind of get a close up look too. So here is a little close up video so you can see what she looks like. So pretty. I just love the colors in this one. I thought she was so pretty. So you can kind of see a little bit better what she looks like. I love how the, the sun is coming down into the water on her hair. So there she is in all her glory. All right, we're back up on the table. I just wanted to show you 
the canvas closer up here. So we've got shimmering canvases. We have that it is a 120 by 40 centimeter. Now, a lot of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith canvases that she has are very long. So you're gonna see that, that 120 is very long, but 40 centimeters isn't a lot. So it's really not gonna be that difficult of a kit to do. It's just gonna be a little bit longer. I mean, you can see it's it fits um, right here in the camera. So we have on both sides the little thumbnail here and then we have as you can see there's 37 colors our legend now the the legend she has the thumbnail and legend on the top so it's actually on both top edges of the canvas there's nothing as you saw in the um in the full-length version where there's nothing on the bottom here, but you do get the legends on both sides of the top. Again, it says for the diamond painting addict, and I figured we would look at the drill field. So, let's start up here in the sunset. So, you can see, I want to show you all the different colors and not move too fast so you can really get a good visual. If you see anything that looks weird, let me know in the comments. Um, I told Dawn that I would definitely give her, oh, um, my honest opinion. So, right off the bat, I'm seeing right here, you've got that kind of weird looking E, and then you have the W's, and that's a very small section, but that could get somebody messed up, so I'll have to let her know about that. Let's move down into the clouds. You can see we've got some blue colors here, and it's kind of nice because she's got different colors, but it's not oversaturated, and you can still see the symbol in there. Let's move down, whoop, bump you there. Let's move down here. You can see the darker colors. Looks pretty good. Oh, and then, okay, so here's another small section that has that E and W. It's not a big section, it's right next to her head. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, and then here's a little section here. So you can see there's all these W's, but then those E's get mixed in there. So I'll have to let her know about that. You can see once again, it's a small spot and it looks like there's a small spot there. And then we had that little area on her hair. And where was that other one? Where's the other one? Oh, up here in the in the middle of that yellow area. So there are just a couple of sections like that. Um, and I don't see anything else. These are just light blue colors. That's some color blocking for you. And we do have quite a bit of confetti. You can see in there the eights and the A's. Um, and then even in her arm. So if you like confetti, this will definitely be a canvas for you. Um, like I said, it does have some strips of color blocking as well, so you'll get the best of both worlds. I'm not seeing, I figured I'd look at the fish because they have different colors. I'm not seeing anything else that looks strange or difficult. Just those couple of tiny areas. Oh wow, look at the confetti here. That's actually in the water by her tail, as you can see. So that's a, a pretty good section of confetti. And then... Here we have this little fish and this guy on the bottom. So nothing that really bothers me, but um, like I said, I'll let Dawn know about those couple of little sections, like this spot in her face here and right there. That way she can kind of let them know. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our sheets. I don't know if I mentioned that she is a square and we'll look at these regular drills as well as the special drills in a minute. I wanted to show you, this is actually a sticker sheet. So she printed this off herself, but they are stickers. And I wanted to point something out to you. So over here, you've got all your regular colors, right? 37 colors. And you can see, these are the symbols. It's kind of nice, actually, if you start from the top. She's got numbers that go into letters, and then she just has a couple of symbols on the bottom, so it shouldn't be too confusing. Other than, like I said, there's this symbol, and then you got that W, but they are different colors. So the reason she has these two strips here, and as you can see, they're the same, 
is because these are gonna be your AB replacements and these are gonna be your crystal replacements. So there's certain areas, and I'll show you the other sheet in a minute, where she tells you you're gonna replace the 307 color, the regular 307 color on number five with 307 ABs. And that's gonna be in a specific area. And then in another area on number five, you're gonna replace that regular 307 drill with the sunflower crystal. So she, I'll show you the other sheet. It's very detailed, it should be very easy. So there's that. And then we have this, which shows you the picture. Like I said, she is called Reaching for Sunset, little cute little mermaid with the uh, sunset up there down in the water. This is gonna be more of that sheet to show you how many drills you should have in each of the bags. So, you know, if you don't wanna use the sticker sheet for whatever reason, and you like the smaller ones, you can always run this through the Xyron sticker maker. All right, so here is the cool stuff. Here is the replacement sheet, and she's made this very, very easy. Not only does she have the information on here, but on your special drill packets too. Right here, let's look at the number five because that's what I was showing you before. You're gonna replace 307 with 307 AB in the fish, okay? So only in the fish where you see the number five are you gonna use the ABs, but over here are the crystals. So where that number five is, you're replacing 307 with the sunflower crystal. And that is gonna go in the tail and the hair. So she's got it all worked out for you. You've got different, uh, these, like I said, are all the ABs and these are all of the crystals. So the placement is gonna be in the fish, in the sky and the fish, in the water, fish, fish, water, water, fish, fish and water. And then over here, the crystals are primarily gonna go in the tail and the hair. Hair, tail, hair. All right, so you can see, that's how this is gonna work. So this will be very easy to do, believe it or not. Um, and let's look at your little toolkit here. So the toolkit, whether you get the upgraded kit or just the standard one, is going to be the same. You've got a couple little baggies. You've got a little flat pair of tweezers here. You've got your squishy for your pin, your pin. I think this is either a nine or 10 placer. And then you've got your wax and a little MOSFA tray. So if you love the white trays, I know a lot of people love the MOSFA trays. They're good little trays. All right, let's move this out of the way because I'm sure you probably already have a toolkit, but you never know. What we'll do is we will look at the regular drills uh, or actually look at the special drills and then kind of compare them to what you're substituting out and I'll show you where on the canvas they go. Like I said, we've got one glow drill and that's this tangerine glow. And you can see she also, not only on the sheet, but on here, it says it replaces 971. So these are going to be the tangerine glow drills. And then I love these, they're called sunflower. They're gonna replace that 307, which I'm assuming is a yellow drill. These are so pretty. This is going to be the AB crystal. In fact, I had cut this off in the other video that <laughs> clearly wasn't a video because it wasn't filming. What I usually do with these is I will cut the top part off with some scissors because what tends to happen is you'll kind of have the drills get stuck in there and you'll make a mess. So I usually just cut it off and then let me get a little tray so I can show you what these look like. Muni made tray here. And her drills are great. I've never had issues. Um, like I said, she has the largest selection, in my opinion, of square crystal drills. So I'm just gonna pour some of these out here. And they do have a silver back on them. They just show up a little bit better. So I'm gonna shake these down in here so you can see what they look like in the light. So this is the AB crystal. You can see the back has silver on it. Let me see if I can get this close enough and make it focus. There we go. So you can see how pretty they are and how nice they line up. I mean, you may every once in a while, like 
I think this is a different color. Every once in a while you might get something like that in there, but for the most part, I don't have a whole lot of duds or anything like that in her drills. That is going to be the one AB crystal that you have. Then the rest of the AB crystals are going to be the 729. Ooh, my favorite color. Y'all know 907 and 703. Those are my favorites, so I'm already happy. We've got the 907. We have 355, which is going to replace 349, so that's really pretty. Kind of a peachy color here, which is 3864. We've got a beautiful red, which is 815, and then we've got 898, okay? These are going to be the crystals, and then we've got a whole lot of ABs over here. What did I say? How many ABs? 11 ABs. We have 995, which is also a very popular color, great color. We have this beautiful 740, and the coating on her ABs is great too. I've never had issues with that. We've got the 300s. Here's that 307. Look at that yellow. So pretty. 3761, which ironically is uh, one of my favorite AB colors too. I love that. That's so pretty. We have some 743, 3865, which is that um, winter white. We've got 3756, 3765, 3839, and last but not least, some 920. So she's got a good mix here. You can see all of these different colors. So she's got the blues and the yellows and the oranges. And then let's look at the regular drills. Y'all know it's going to get noisy for a minute, so if you've got earbuds in um, and you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? Okay. All right. Look at these greens, y'all. Look at these greens. 905 and 907. There's my 907. Let's look at the drills up close, and I'll show you a couple of different colors because you know in squares... Usually, if you're going to have problems, square is where you're going to have it. Those look nice and flat. Now, I do want to say some of these have just a just a barely little dimple type thing in there. And if you see that, it's not a big deal. What you don't want is you don't want a concave drill where only a couple of the points are touching and you don't have anything flat on the bottom. If you've got just a little tiny dimple in there, it's not going to hurt anything. I promise you. So, these look nice and flat. I like that. And I like to show you a couple of different colors because I want you to really be able to see. Sometimes when we look at the really dark, like the 310 or 939, it's harder to see how flat they are. The other thing is these are resin drills, so that's really cool. Let's look at my 907s. Y'all know I want to see this. Ooh, those are pretty. They look good. And you know what I say, every time I unbox something, you never know until you lay the drills down, but they look pretty good. So let's see if we have, here's our darker drills. So we've got, ooh, wow. Okay, you can see we have got some 939. So we've got three bags of 939. I don't know if we have any 310 in here, but we shall see. So here is that dark, dark blue. Can you see the drills close up enough? I think you can. Let me make sure this is focused. There we go. Okay. So once again, looking good, looking good. Um, let's see. And I'll go ahead and take these out and just show you what's in here because I'm sure you are curious. We've got a lot of different colors. It looks like, are these the same? Nope, those are different. We've got two bags of this 890, which is a dark green. Oh, we got two little stragglers in there. And then this is 803. We've got some 809, 826, 718, 646. And these were probably in order, but like I said, I, yeah, I can tell they are by these. I had already opened these up and it was not filming. We've got some 151, 209, a little bag of 210, 300, and I think 
It was 300 one we were gonna play, replace? I can't remember that. There's that regular 307. You've got 349, 413. And if you number, if you just use the number system, then you can see on that list, you can do it that way as well. But I always go by the symbol in the DMC. So we've got 452 and 472. Um, we've got our bag of 743, 814, which is kind of that rusty red. You've got a large bag of 3765. That's a really pretty color too. And a big bag of 926. This is probably for her skin, some 951. Got some 833, and I'll kind of pan over all of the drills that I've taken out so you can really see that color palette. We've got 3746, um, 986, 971. There's a large bag of 3861, 3865, which is that winter white that we'll be replacing some of. This is a pretty color too, 3843, 3862. And we've got the last couple of colors. There's some 3756, 3761, 920, 3778. We've got some 3779 and 3832. Let me pan you over here so you can see all of the different colors of the regular drills. So here are all of the regular colors laid out. The thing that I love about this is even though it's a mermaid scene, it's underwater, you're not just stuck with blues and greens. Because you've got that sunset and it's coming down on her hair, you've also got some really pretty bright orange, some yellow. I think it's going to be beautiful. You've also got kind of a, a reddy orange. Um, I don't know, I'm really liking the colors. And what we'll do next is I will take these and I'll take the regular colors. That way you can see what they look like and you can kind of decide if you like the upgraded crystals or if you just love the regular colors. Now here is an overview. These are all of the regular drills that you'll be keeping and you won't be replacing. These are the regular colors with the ABs and crystals and whatever they're supposed to be mixed with. Say for example, this is the 3756 and this is 3756. So you can see the only one that you're gonna be replacing is just this color. But if you look at 920, which is this color right here, in some places you're gonna be replacing the 898 with the 920. And then here, you're gonna be using the 920 AB to replace this. And like I said, it'll be very self-explanatory in the sheet as well as the fact that she's got it on here. So we'll look at that. But I kinda of wanted to show you the colors that you'll be replacing, or it's optional. Maybe you wanna replace certain ones and you don't wanna do other ones. All right, let's open the canvas and get right to it. What I'm gonna do is kind of work my way down. Let's look at the sky first. Basically, if you look on the sheet, it's not the first thing, but she's only got one AB that she's replacing in the sky. So basically, F is gonna be 743, is the original color right here. And then you're gonna re be replacing that with a 743 AB in the sky. Okay, we're not gonna mess with the crystal yet. It's not time for that, so I'm gonna put it over here. And obviously we're not using the um, regular 743. This is what we're going to be replacing in just the sky area. So don't go down here where this F is because I think that's where she's going to want the crystals that we just talked about. Only doing the ABs. Like I said, if you look at the sheet right here, where did I go? Sky, 743. A, B. You've got this area here, and you've got some different sections dotted throughout. You've got more here and then right here. Next, we're going to be looking at the water and focusing on the water. Basically, we're going to start up by the sky here in this wave and work our way down. Now, she does have 
water down here on the bottom where her tail is, but there's nothing charted in this area. So I'm not gonna worry about that until we get to the tail and the fish and all that good stuff. All of the water A, Bs and things are going to be up here. So let's start with the first water one we have. So we've got this one right here, which is an A, B and it's H and we're gonna use 3839. So that is so here's your regular color, and here is the 3839, which is replacing that 809, okay? So that one is going to go up here. You've got a large section in the waves, sort of in the top of those waves. You've got a strip going here and then all down where this is. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call that, where the water goes down. She's got her hands up. So uh, anywhere that you've got this outer edge here around that light area, that's all going to be that H. And then all up in the, the top part of the wave. Next, we have water, water, water. The 3756, which will, will be replaced with the 3756. And there is the little diamond. All right. All right here. So this is going to be your regular A or your regular drill, and then this is that AB that's going to replace it. That's a really pretty color. All right. So we've got our diamond, which will be. Let's see. Let's see. They're just a couple right through this section, and then you've got some along here, and then around this section not the lightest one but the next color through there and that is where that's going to go and clearly you'll have enough extra ab's and crystals left over you probably won't be using all of them i mean you can see this has got a little small bag and then you've got way more in here so you'll definitely have some left over at least in that color all right next we have 3761 and that is the pound sign and it's replaced with 3761. Now these are a little bit different in color, but it doesn't bother me. Um, you know, each manufacturer, you're gonna have a different dye lot. So clearly that's what's going on here, but this is what they're calling 3761. And this is the actual AB that you'll be replacing it with, okay? All right, let's see here. We've got a section right through here and just a couple at the top, a couple in here. And then you've got a whole bunch of them all in this section. So that kind of light area, all of those are going to be the 3761. Next, we've got the 3865 and that's that kind of backward E symbol. Again, that's gonna be an AB. 36.85, so what I said, yes. <laughs> that is going to go, um, let's see, let's see. There's just a few right through here, and then this inner section, that really light section, is where you're gonna have the bulk of those. I would not put them here because that looks like her hair. Make sure that you're paying attention and you don't end up putting them in her hair. Let's see if we have any more water. I think that's it. It's all tail hair, tail hair, yeah. Okay, so that is gonna do it for the water. Next, we'll go into the, I guess, tail and hair area, and then last but not least, we'll go with the fish. I took my sheet, and I pulled all the colors that said hair. As you can see, there weren't any ABs. It was all over in the crystal area. And then I laid them out in order of her hair, how it transitioned, so you could kind of see. So these are the colors that you're going to replace. These are the regular drills, and then these are the crystals. So basically, we come into this area here first, and the very first one that we're going to change out, I'll lay this up here so you can see it, is going to be F. So what I did was I took this right here, and that's going to go in this section. Right next to that is going to be that Sunflower AB. And that's actually kind of mixed in. These two colors are kind of mixed in together. All of the X 
and this orange area right here is going to be the glow tangerine. So this is what you're gonna be putting in there. You can see it's a mix. Don't be mad at me if you don't like it. Um, it's totally different. You can see what's charted in here and I think she did a good job of matching up what was in there. You can always make little tweaks and changes too. Um, let's see, the next one that we go into it's 898, which replaces 920, and that is T. So right next to that glow in this little area where it's brown is that is where that one's gonna go, right here. And then there's a large area right here that's at 349. And that is where all these sixes are, where that red is dotted in here. And then that meets up with J, which is going to bring the 815 in there, this guy right here. And then last but not least, you're gonna have this color right here, the 3864, which replaces 3862. It's kind of, I think, like a coffee brown-ish color, if I remember right. I think, I think, I don't know, I'd have to look up the DMC, but I think that's what it is. That's gonna be where this little triangle symbol is. And I'm just seeing a couple of those in this part over here. Um, she's also got a couple of those J's and sixes and T's spread in this area. So pretty much over here is where the bulk of it's gonna be. And you're gonna have a little bit right here. So these are the crystals that are going to be put in the hair area. I have put the tail colors together over here. These are the drill colors that go in the tail as well as the crystals. You don't have anything over here other than fish and water. So the only things that are gonna go in her tail are going to be crystals. Let's see what we've got going on here. The first one that I have for the tail is gonna be that sunflower AB color, the crystal AB, and that's number five. We're gonna be placing these guys. Let's see where that five is. Oh man, okay. There are a bunch of those. So basically this whole area and right through here, as well as some of this area. And let's see if there's any down here. Yes, and there are quite a few down in this section too. You've got a bunch of the sunflower ones all throughout the tail, but especially in this area over here where it's yellow. Let's see what's next, let's see what's next. Sorry guys, bear with me. I'm just trying to make sure I show you everything. We've got number six and 355 is the crystal that we're gonna use. So that is this one. And you can see it's kind of a orangey red. We are going to put that one all in here where it, it shows you the red sixes. You don't have anything down here. It's just gonna be right in this area. F, and that's gonna be the 729 right here. So it's kind of a golden orangey color. And F is mixed in with that sunflower color that we just saw. So you've got a bunch of it up here. You've got some mixed in here. And then let's see, let's see, let's see. You've got some kind of on this edge, a little bit mixed in with the number fives over here, but it's closer to the orange. And then you've got quite a few of those where you can see the yellow throughout here. It's not that center area because that's where the sunflower ABs are gonna go, but it's pretty much everywhere else around it. You've got a good bit of that in there too. So the other two colors we have is 907, and that's gonna be S. And those are pretty, I think that's gonna look really good in there. I like these. These other areas that are kind of a mid-tone green are gonna be that crystal. So you've got a good bit through here around that yellow and white. You've got some down here, little sections of it, right through here. Um, you've got a strip going right through here. And where else? Just a couple sort of surrounding this yellow area as well. The last one that we have is actually the Tangerine Glow, and that's gonna be the X. And that's this one again. The X's are the bright orange right through here. 
So all in this section, you're gonna have those orange ones. All right, that is our tail. The last thing that I'm gonna show you are the fish. And the only thing that's gonna be in the fish are ABs. You still with me? Coming in on the home stretch. So these are the ABs that are going to go in the fish. You can see we've got one over here. We have two here and two down at the bottom. So we've got five fish. None over in the crystal, all over in the AB section. The first one that we have is gonna be number four. And that's gonna be this guy right here. Now, where do we have number fours? Where, where, where? We have a bunch on the bottom part of this fish. And I see just some dotted in the bottom of this fish. The next one that we have is gonna be number five. So that's this beautiful yellow color. We've got quite a few through here on this one. I don't see any on the second fish or the third fish, but we've got a bunch on this bottom fish all across the top there. Next color, we're moving right along guys, is F. And it's also really pretty. Let's see, we've got just like four or five Fs up there. We've got some sprinkled throughout here and just a couple on the side. We've got one, literally one on that fish. And we've got just a few on the top of that one. And just a couple sort of mixed in near the front of this fish. Um, next we have T, which is 920. And that's going to be this one. There are definitely some T's up in this part of the fish. Just a couple over there. I see one right there and one right there. None in this fish. Um, none in the bottom, but there's a good bit right through here and a couple on that top and side area of that fish. So this one's really gonna have a lot of ABs in it. And I love this color. This is X. So you've got that 740. And we have some right through here and a couple near the front. We've got two, four in that fish. We've got some just right around here in that section. We don't have any on the bottom, but we've got quite a few sort of in this top orange area on that fish. All right, guys, home stretch. Um, let's see, let's see. Right here, it's the and symbol. This is really pretty too, I love that, so rich. Rich, rich, rich. You've got some, seriously, it's just dotted throughout this fish. So you've got them kind of spaced out all through him. And you have just a couple sort of towards the bottom here on this fish. Eh, and just a couple up there. And our very last color is gonna be this symbol. I'm gonna call it an alien for lack of a better, <laughs> lack of a better thing. Um, that's this color right here. And let's see if we have any little aliens anywhere. Ah, yes. So this whole section and where you see these blue strips in this fish, those are all going to be that color. There's not any on this one. There's not any on this one, but there's a whole bunch through this section. So where you see that blue, it's gonna be in that fish as well. Guys, you have got a lot to think about. What do you think about this? I mean, tell me what your thoughts are. Do you love the colors that she's replaced? Is it something that you would get? Are there some of them that you love, but maybe not all of them? What are your thoughts? Let me put this down so you can see the whole thing one more time. If you love the painting, if it's not quite your style, I can't remember if I said anything in the beginning of the video, but uh, Dawn has got a whole bunch of really pretty Jasmine Beckett Griffith paintings, and she's got all of the standard kits or the upgraded kits. As you saw, we did all of the special drills that were in there, and she gives you a lot for your money. Um, she does have some that are not quite as big as this one or as long as this one. Um, some of them, I think the longer ones are like hot air balloons and 
skulls, just all kinds of different stuff. You'll have to go to Shimmering Canvases and look around. But I also have her information linked down there in case you wanna go take a look at all the diamond paintings that she has. Uh, some of the other ones, in fact, I think maybe Shay has unboxed another one that's quite a bit smaller than this one. She's not as long. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. And a huge thank you to Dawn. I really, really appreciate you uh, giving me this to unbox. I, I can't wait to work on it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and you can get that regular kit for $59.99 or you get 19 special drills in this. Isn't that what I told you before? 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, 19 special drills in this one for $89.99. So even if you bought the canvas and then you bought all of the special drills separately, you couldn't get it for that price. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit the the subscribe button and click the bell and you'll be notified anytime I put up a new video. All right, guys, until next time, I see you then. Bye.